New details tonight on that dangerous police chase with two men and a stolen U-Haul. See it right over our shoulders mm -hmm. right there. We told you about it two weeks ago. It started in Locust Grove and ended in Arkansas. Tonight, Fox 23's crime and safety reporter John Acebus is live after going through that new video from Highway Patrol. And John, at one point, OHP were right behind that U-Haul. Yeah, I feel like every new piece of video that we get is just crazier and crazier. Troopers say during part of that pursuit, they were the primary agency pursuing, which you can kind of conclude means they were the agency directly behind that U-Haul. In dash cam video release, we get the perspective from Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers. This is how the pursuit ended with Robert Mercier and Trenton Johnson. That thanks to the maneuver from a Tonti Town police officer. I'm good. I'm good. It all started in Oklahoma when Mercier and Johnson were pinged by a flock camera in Locust Grove. I spoke with Holly Balin with Flock about how quick info from Flock gets out to police. This entire process happens within just a couple of seconds that if that vehicle is stolen or known to be associated with a wanted offender, local law enforcement are alerted within just a few seconds. Trooper Preston Cox says troopers were requested to help. This is video from a trooper dash cam of a trooper jumping into action and trailing another unit. Later in the video, you see the trooper overtake the other agencies in the left-hand lane and getting right behind the U-Haul. Moments later, you see the U-Haul swerving around an 18-wheeler and going off the road. This was when troopers were the primary agency in that pursuit. OHP did respond um, as a secondary unit at times and also became primary at additional times um, until that pursuit went across state lines into Arkansas. Here's a time lapse of OHP's pursuit, a chase that got up to 120 miles per hour. You see the trooper pull off as the other agencies take over. I know for a fact that um, with this situation and everything going on and with how many resources they had available, we, we went ahead and, and let those other agencies located within that state go ahead and take over that pursuit. While troopers say they left without a ding in a car, the officer seen in this video taken from a bystander in Arkansas shows the U-Haul barreling through other officers. Tonti Town Police say one of their vehicles managed to cut the driver off, causing that officer to crash, thankfully walking away relatively unharmed. This is how the pursuit ended with Robert Mercier and Trenton Johnson arrested and according to Tonti Town Police found with guns and Molotov cocktails. And we have learned that both of those men are actually from Michigan. So right now, as of today, they are in Benton County Jail in Michigan being held on the state charges related to this crash. I was actually texting an ATF agent from here in Oklahoma earlier, and based on the Molotov cocktail that was found in that U-Haul, which is a federal crime, I asked, will they likely be facing federal charges as well? He said, absolutely, but they're not in a rush to file those charges because first, they have to deal with the state charges in Arkansas and now in Michigan. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.